Now your local weather authority forecast with meteorologist Jeff Andrews. Glad you're with us. Uh, a very pleasant Saturday evening. Hope the weekend's going well. Taking a look at the Brave Law Center cam right now. Things are quiet. We're kind of sandwiched between two systems. This is what we dealt with last night and this morning off to the east. This is what is coming our way for our Sunday. I'll walk you through that. The rain chances are on the lower side, but they're not zero. Isolated showers is what we're looking at through the course of the night and our Sunday as well. Here is our weather maker, what's driving things. This warm front's gonna lift across the area. This low is gonna skate right across the state line. The warm front lifts along that on the cool side could have some showers. That's closer to the state line. When this low sweeps across and we've got the cold front, that likely is gonna trigger some shower activity as well. A lot of that's gonna be to our south. So, but we have several opportunities where we could see some isolated showers and perhaps th some thunderstorms in there as well. The winds on the light side right now, they're gonna continue that way till we get into the heart of our Sunday. Then you see the wind gusts will be out of the south in the teens to perhaps around 20 in the afternoon hours. Pretty cloudy on the late night hours tonight through your overnight. Could have a, a stray shower in there as we get towards the uh, early portion of our Sunday. We're looking at an overnight low in the 30s, about 36. Cloud cover will start to be on the increase. The winds will still be light though, and the isolated shower potential as well. Your Sunday looks like this, a lot of cloud cover. We get later on and then we start to clear off. Actually should have some sunshine by the time we get into the afternoon afternoon hours as well. Not really picking up any real precipitation on future track for our Sunday. High temperatures, upper 50s to near 60, so a little bit warmer than what we had today, but normal for this time of year, really. As far as the rainfall, even if we get some, it's of the lighter variety. You can see it doesn't even register to a tenth of inch, uh, like three hundredths of an inch of rain for Peoria, just enough to wet the ground briefly. As we look at your Sunday, uh, the big picture, you can see as we have several of the uh, weather makers pass through. This is probably the best shot at getting some showers. These uh, what we call discrete cells, individual cells, could be something of the stronger nature, but really it looks to be off to our east, but that's the best opportunity at getting some thunderstorms. And later on as a cold front, out ahead of the cold front, Sunday night towards 10, 11 o'clock tomorrow night, Heavy rainfall, but mostly it's south of I-72 is the way things are tracking at this point. So for tonight, not too bad. Mid-30s, uh, uh, isolated showers a possibility. For your Sunday, about 57 for a high with a 30% chance of showers. Perhaps an isolated thunderstorm. Also breezy. Sunday night down to 34. Then cooler as we start next week. But actually looking at a little bit of a dry stretch. We'll be right back.